Ready? and every one of you for coming to our cross dedication. Um, I'm going to try as best I can to get through this and keep my composure, but I do appreciate your patience and no heckling, because I do have a message. <laughs> okay. God sent us here to Thunder Canyon about three years ago, June. Mercedes and I drove through that gate right there. And we came in and we were on a mission to build something special. We had no idea about this chapel at that point. We wanted to build a community of RV Odd Squad members who healed our daughter with their prayers and their love and their support. A couple of idiots out RVing around the country. You know, we just shared it honestly and, and openly with everybody. About a year ago, a friend of mine, Trina, sent me a picture of a little house that was on the side of a lake, and I knew exactly what it was for. It was for God's house. We did a video about 100 days ago saying we're going to build this house, and 90% of the people didn't think it could happen. But people, people forget that anything's possible with God. And what's beautiful today is I'm going to ask uh, Tony to say a few words. I'm gonna ask all of you get involved with this. We're gonna we're gonna lift this cross as a group. We do this as a group. This is no longer about Mercedes and I. This is about us. This isn't about us, it's about us. It's about all of us. And none of this could have been possible without each and every one of you people. I'm gonna ask Tony to share a little bit about his story and how he got here, because the last since Tony got here, you can feel God's presence in this entire thing. Tony. Thank you, John, and for being here. Um, before I read the word, okay, so how did Luke and I make it here? <laughs> it's a long story, but I'm going to make it real short. The Lord says go, so we went. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord says buy, he says, buy a hundred Bibles. And I said, why do you want me to buy a hundred Bibles? He says, buy a hundred Bibles, I'll tell you what to do with them. So I was faithful. I didn't tell my wife. I bought the Bible. <laughs> then she sees all these boxes, and I told her, the Lord told me to buy them. And she says, wow, a hundred Bibles. I said, yeah, a hundred Bibles. She said, well, keep them off to the side. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. The Lord says, I'm going to tell you what you're going to do with them. And now all of a sudden, John comes out of me and says, the Lord told me to build God's house. And he says, it shall be built in a hundred days. And the Lord said, that's where the Bibles are going. <laughs> Instantly. And he says, and by the way, don't make any plans because you're going to deliver them yourself. John and the men are building a church building. I commissioned them. In the meantime, you got to work on my people, build my church. And I said, yes, Lord. And with that, I want to read something to you. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. If God be for us, church, who could be against us? For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present out there, in here, nor things to come, nor heights, nor very depths, nor any creature on this earth shall be able to separate the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, from us. Amen. Nothing. Nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. If you guys can bring the men that are going to put the cross, if we can come over here and lay hands upon that cross, because I know for a fact that how many of us will ever be able to touch a cross while it's up there? Mm -hmm. We kind of will be sitting around saying, oh, I wish I could touch it. This is our opportunity to lay hands upon the, the cross. Hallelujah. No. Let's bring the cross forth, please. All right. Thank you, Lord. Now, God told me that everybody in this room has to be a part of this, not just the men that built this church, because this mission wouldn't have been possible without every single person in this room. Absolutely. So I'm going to grab the camera, and I'm going to get the shot. Anybody who touched this, come on, Bubba, get in there. Get in there. Take a look at it. The same cross, the same wood, remember, that he created was the same wood that was used to put it there. But hallelujah, he's not here anymore. He's risen. So Father God, I pray that the moment people come into this house and they see your cross, not only will they notice how beautiful it is and how the light is gonna shine right behind it, but they're gonna say, he's no longer there. 
He's in here. Mm -hmm. He's in each and every one of us. We pray that the nations will be touched. The people in Alabama, the people in the United States of America, the nations shall hear of God's house here and great miracles and breakthroughs and families come together and children giving lives to the Lord and parents being the parents they're called to be to their children and hearts mended and people set free. In a country that loves God. A country that loves the Lord God. That is the hope we hold on to. That people will get a sense that Jesus is alive and he will come back again. Hallelujah to the risen King. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. All right, so now what I want everybody to do is everybody get up there, and I want as best we can for everybody here to get in this shot. As we raise the cross, I'm going to put Chuck on the top of the ladder. Chuck's going to set it. Okay, we'll edit the film. There'll be no pause. <laughs> we ready? Yeah. Ready. One, two, three. Yeah! One week from today, we will be celebrating the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right here as we dedicate this chapel to God. We look forward to seeing you guys. And remember, we still got a lot of work to do, so be out here at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> Mercedes, you want to say anything? I just want to thank every single one of you guys that, that's here. Are you? My husband, when he gets a hair, he gets a hair to go on He got a hair to find Thunder Canyon, and then he got another hair. We got to build his house first. Um, what I'm so grateful for is that every single one of you saw that vision and saw the importance of building his house first. Because, um, you know, first things first. You can't transmit what you haven't got. You got to get your own house in order. And putting God's house on Thunder Canyon is part of all of us getting our house in order. Amen. So I am so grateful to every single one of you guys because the biggest thing that has made this possible is the amazing, amazing, talented team that John and I have. He was like, oh, John, I'm saying, no, 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 the team, the like all of these people with all these talents and all of these different from all over the U.S. that have just come here because some stupid YouTube algorithm put a video in front of me. <laughs> Pretty amazing. So every single person here has done something or contributed in some way and has made this possible. So thank you for every single one of you guys. God has sent every single person that we need right at the exact time. And we could tell you a thousand stories about that since we started. God always sends what we need exactly when we need it, and it's always the right person we needed. So thank you all. We love you guys, and we'll see you next Sunday. Woo!